Good morning, YouTube. Thank you for tuning in to another one of my episodes, Kev Scooter Motor Vlogs. All right, guys. After a little bit of tuning on the variator with my weights, we're going to go ahead and uh, do another speed test right now, GPS. So real quick, guys, for anybody that's just tuning in and hasn't followed my channel, just first time viewing, well, we're riding the 49cc four-stroke boom PYT scooter. It's a Taiwan scooter. And uh, I bought it from saferwholesale.com 10 and a half months ago with zero miles, came brand new. And so far I've been riding this thing as my everyday commute. And check out my playlist. I got a lot of uploads throughout my 10 months and a half of having the scooter. And so far it's not broke down once on me, guys. But that being said, guys, uh, I just want to say that this thing is reliable. I give it a five star. There's a lot of bad reviews on aftermarket scooters. But uh, I've always learned in life, don't judge things by what other people say. Uh, I judge things according to what I experience. So hopefully this here little um, review of my scooter and my speed test will help somebody out there that might be interested in buying something that's cheaper than a Honda Ruckus and a Vespa and can give you the same performance if not better. That being said guys, let's pull out the GPS right now. Go ahead and see what's going on here. All right, there it is, right there. We hold it sideways, guys. Should have a full mount, but I don't. So I found a nice, good, long stretch of road right here that's going to allow me to hit my maximum speed. Let me close my visor. All right, guys. So we're at 25, 26. I'm going to hold it down here, guys, just in case the cop, you know? 31 miles per hour. 32 miles an hour 33 miles an hour 34 miles an hour so my top speed before I did my tuning was 32 36 miles an hour 36 yeah 36 are we going to hit 37 37 are we going to hit 38 38 are we going to hit 39 are we going to hit 39 39 miles an hour guys so yeah I'm keeping these rollers they're working a lot better for me my max speed before it was at 32 miles per hour now I got a max speed of 39 and my dash says I'm going 55 so with that being said guys sort of ran a stop sign didn't mean to that's a good example of never to be having your phone in your hand though. Good example. Alright guys, with that being said man, I'm very uh, happy with the results. I had done a speed test like two, three weeks ago. And it was only max speed of, uh, it was pushing like, when they didn't want to push no more it was like at 30 and then I did get two more miles per hour out of it so it struggled to get to 32 now it really climbed really easy it climbed real easy past 32 33 34 35 then once it starts hitting 36 it started slowing down then it's 37 38 and finally 39 miles an hour so guys with that being said man anybody that's uh, basically dealing with your scooter all right my scooter didn't come restricted what i mean by restricted is sometimes these here scooters they'll have a restriction on them to uh, reach your top speed and you can really find that out by a lot of scooters when you're full throttle it sort of wants to cut out and get back in that's that's your restrictor i really am not knowledgeable how to get bypassed that besides buying a, a sdi or a, oh god is a CDI box so my first thing I did with this one not knowing if it was restricted or not I just bought a CDI box with no rev limiter like a to bypass the restriction and there's different ways about going that just google it man and when you google it you'll see YouTube videos showing you how to go about how to do it on your on your model of scooter 
but it's against the law guys just to let you know it is against the law to start or you know if you got your warranty or whatnot you might not want to do that but no no guys man scooter this scooter that i've been uh very much experimenting with every single day i'm very happy with the uh, outcome this scooter has been running great guys it's uh not left me stranded so far and i hate talking that good about it because usually when you talk good about something that's when it happens so i'm not going to continue talking really good but i want to give my viewers out there my subscribers the honest uh my honest uh performance of my with my experience with my scooter can't lie to you guys and i will not lie to you guys so take it from somebody who did spend their money on the scooter bought it brand new took the chance on it and besides all the bad reviews out there guys it didn't live up to being bad guys the scooter i give it actually a four and a half star i want to say five star guys but if I start to be honest guys it's got to be absolutely just good in all areas right so I want to say four star it's better than a four star guys four and a half star and as the time progresses here as we get into over a year and then uh, as we climb into higher mileage and stuff then I'll decide about giving it a five star but man I'll tell you right now this is the best thousand dollars I ever spent on a car or a vehicle Every time I spend a thousand dollars on a used vehicle, damn thing was a limit. Yeah, people that I bought from, and this is my experience. When I bought a used vehicle, the owner of that vehicle I wouldn't know from heads or tails, right? But he would say, he would talk a good one, man. He wants that money, of course. But yeah, he was like, yeah, bro, unlike anybody else out there and stuff, man, I got a good car. If you pass this one up, man, yeah, you talked a good one, you know? And I tell him, yeah, I got a senior mom, man. She has to go to her medical appointments and whatnot. And uh, I'm her transportation, man. So I'm really needing a good car to take my mom back and forth to her dialysis. And my, I may she rest in peace now. My mom passed away three months ago, man. But um, shows you what cold hearted people we deal with out there, man. So when I took the car home and went to start it up again, and I was like going to go to go show my son. And, you know, I lived in Modesto about 18 miles away from Turlock so I was on this freeway right here and I had a I got stranded on the side of the freeway the damn car died on me and it wouldn't start no more and that was just the same day that I bought the damn thing I was like man this guy freaking was just so lucky that this car didn't die while he was selling it to me we went on the freeway we tested it and I was like all right and then overheat as soon as he gave me the keys I was wondering when we pulled in front of his house to do the paper exchange and all that and the money he told his son oh just leave it on man just leave it on i understand why he said that he didn't want to kill it because the damn thing wasn't promised to start back up again but yeah i had awful experience this time i wanted to buy something brand new and with a thousand two hundred dollars that stimulus payment that came in the first one i was really really hesitant about buying a used car guys and i decided to go with the scooter and i'm, I'm very glad i did and I could be talking about how glad I'm about buying the scooter all day long, guys. But I really am. I'll end it with that one. I like this app, man. It shows you how... Uh, this app has a lot of information. It's the GPS app I have. I haven't had a GPS app that has all this information like this one. So basically, I just throw it in here. And it keeps track of how long have I been idled for. How long have I been on, you know, in speed, like traveling? I haven't had no app that done that for me. It always told me when did I start my trip and when did I end. But this one lets you know how long you've been sitting at stoplights for. Basically, your idle time is the times you're at stoplights. That you'd be traveling, then all of a sudden you come to a stop and you haven't moved for about maybe a minute or two. That's when I really feel that I'm at a stoplight. I like that. So it gives me uh, the accurate information. If it says I've been traveling for 15 minutes, I have an idle time of maybe 8 minutes. That means I actually wasn't traveling for the whole 15 minutes. Minus the 8 minutes I've been traveling. <laughs> Let me get out of this truck's way, guys.
Man, I got too much courtesy, I think. I think my too much uh, leniency out here on the roads with the scooter is actually going to lead into an accident because I've always pulled out of people's way and let them, whoa. Uh, I always pull out of people's way and let them pass me up or, or, you know, and that's not the way the law says to do it. The law says actually just right on the side of the curb, continue your, continue going your speed or whatnot. But, uh, yeah. I just picture being that driver behind a slow scooter. How it would be uh, ticking me off if I was on my way to work and be like, get out of my way, man. 